The following is a presentation from PokerStars.net. Welcome to the best of the PokerStars.net big game. Let's go for it. Now. now. Now it's the big game. You don't think I can make fun of myself a little bit? Full house. That's what I'm talking about. This is a fun hand. This makes me as attractive as ever. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, good read, because I was bluffing. <laughs> Listen to that. Why are you so wrong? I'm so wrong here. This is the next generation. I had you. <laughs> yeah, big crush. Yeah, big crush. <laughs> Welcome to Las Vegas, home of the big game and our state-of-the-art poker room. And though the table is empty right now, it has seen tons of money change hands. Alongside Joe Stapleton, I am Chris Rose, and tonight we're going to revisit some of the craziest hands and the biggest action we've seen on the big game so far. That's right, folks. During every hand you see tonight, at least $100,000 will find its way to the middle of the table. In high-stakes poker, we call that the nosebleed stakes. So enough of us. Let's get to the action here on the Best of the Big Game. Our first hand of the night features poker legend Doyle Brunson, his good friend, high-stakes limit player Abe Mosseri, and wealthy internet businessman Jason Calacanis. At this point, Calacanis had already lost 100 grand when his kings were cracked by Doyle's set of sixes. Here's how Joe and I called the hand. 1,200. Action folds around to Abe Mosseri, who raises. Pocket tens for Jason Calacanis. Calls. 1,200's bet. Daniel's out. Doyle's in. Makes the call. Jack-10 offsuit. Calacanis got the best hand going into the flop. Which is 9-Jack-10, a monster flop. Expect to see a lot of action here. Doyle checks his top two. Abe bets 3,000. He's got a flush draw and a gut shot. And a set for Calacanis. Raise. Announcing a raise to 13,000. I like this raise. This board is sopping wet. He's going to want to try to protect his set. Doyle should be suspicious of a raise coming from an amateur. Tough for him to get away from top two. Where is it? Re-raise. Doyle announcing a re-raise to $83,000. Doyle's drawing very slim. He must be putting both his opponents on draws. He's right on one count. Abe is drawing. Come on, we deal it three times, Abe. Good, huh? Abe has to know he's behind at the moment. He's not getting great odds. He's got to commit all of his chips. He's not even drawing to the nuts. Calacanis is shuffling chips like he's drinking Adderall-flavored coffee. You know, Abe's only got 4,200 invested in this pot. He has no fold equity because Doyle's essentially moved all in. All right, I'm all in. Moves in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy move from Abe. Someone could easily have ace-10 of hearts or something like that. You got more than 83? No, probably not. I don't think so. Whether he thinks he's ahead or behind, I'm sure Doyle would have rather Abe folded. Wow. Even though Jason has the best hand, the way the betting went, Abe and Doyle are both representing absolute monsters. I don't think I can... I don't think I can lay this down. This will be the biggest flame out in high stakes history. Or be absolutely brilliant. I'm glad to see you stalling. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just tell you somebody's snap calls? Wow. Does somebody have a set of jacks here? And somebody have a straight already? And queen already? This will be a sick lay down. Sounds like three nines. Wow. This is ridiculous if I lay this down. Remember, Calacanis has already stuck 100 dimes to Doyle. I'm going to have to flop this straight. Jason shows his hand, but it's not dead. This is a cash game. 
You think you're gonna pick something up off, off of us by, by showing us the hand and telling us what you got? No, no, I'm, right. I just was looking for some sympathy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but I, apparently I'm not gonna get any. He folds. Wow. We had me crush. We had me crush, too. <laughs> you fold that manual? You, 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 you don't have ace, ten of hearts, do you? No. Good. Oh, my God. Two pair and five. Oh, my what? God. Please, I got it. Now you want to see a heart, right? Well, how many times do you want to run this? Three's good. Let's run eight. a two. Let's eight. run a two eight. for simplicity. It's up to you. I would not never argue about that. Uh, well, I know it's going to be hard for you. It's going to be hard for you to make a full house now. You guys doing it twice, right? Twice. For the love of God, let it be a flush and a full spot. house. Tough spot. Flush and a straight. Okay. That's For the love of God. No, flush and a full house is what I'd like to see. You want a jack? You want a jack to come on one so you can feel real good about that? I actually feel kind of bad about this for some reason. Why? I don't know. Feel because you feel bad about getting him out of the pot. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Doyle. No, I mean I feel bad about the results. I feel terrible about the results so far. <laughs> Abe has held over me too long. Oh, stop it. You've held over me. Yeah, yeah. Right. Boom. First run, four diamonds. One more blank, then it won't be so painful. Boom. Uh, yeah. Abe makes a flush. Boom. That's the boom. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Just like I figured. I had the same hand come up on a TV cash game show. I had the set of tens. I folded. One guy had a bigger set, and one guy had the straight. Wait, did not you just criticize my fold? <laughs> it wasn't these players, and it wasn't this situation. Wait, 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 you do it? <laughs> Oh, well, that was such a bad play. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely, it was one of those decisions where either way, it wasn't a big deal. It right. yeah, it's just, like if you yeah, fold, it's fine. Good. If you call, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> good for Doyle, anyways. Suck for me. I'm feeling pretty good about it right now. I give us the Queen of Clubs. Okay. Second run. Queen of Clubs? Yeah. All right. Makes Doyle a full house. Ooh. It'll be a split pot. I'm trying to get your money back on the third one. <laughs> I would be leaving right now. How much did you take back here? I took back all, all my money, man. Well, Even though what, what Jason laid down the best hand, he would have lost both runs. The wrong lay down at the right time. A good fold. Look at that. But that is a good moan, Abe. I've been, I've held over you. You're, 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 you're that much superior to me. Well, it's just, it's just, it's you grounded it was... me every time you come to town, but that's because you're better, so much better. <laughs> well, you know. I don't know, Dawn. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I'll let the results speak for themselves, buddy. Can't remember a split pot being that much fun. Still to come, a loose cannon named Ernest Wiggins plays one of the craziest hands ever seen on TV. All right, I guess I'm all in. I call Kings. Oh, this is like slow roll one more time. Get me dead. Oh, Ernest goes to camp. That's <laughs> real. You gotta be kidding me. But first, Daniel Negreanu makes a move on Phil Locke. You're very chatty most of the time. Right now you're in silent mode. What do you want me to say exactly? I'm a little scared to be honest with you. Remember, if you want to be a loose cannon and appear on the big game, just log on to PokerStars.net. There are free qualifying tournaments every day. Stick around. The best of the big game is just heating up. Welcome back to the best of the big game, our celebration of big pots. This next hand featured some of the biggest names in all of poker, including Phil Hellmuth, Tony G, Phil Locke, Daniel Negreanu, and Doyle Brunson. But Hellmuth had another player on his mind. I mean, I, I called 130,000 when Durr with bottom pair. Was it good? Oh, he had trips? He had trips. So why are you bragging about that exactly? It was a fun pot. I went to raise. He's like, I called Durr with bottom pair and he had three of a kind. I got the re raise in with the 6 9 and he got the re raise in with the 10 jack. That's how it started. We've got Phil Locke limping in, Tony G coming over the top for 3,000, and Phil Helmuth mulling it over. These two are about to battle in the sandbox again. What's happening, Phil? I don't know, Tony. I'm, he might have it this time. I don't know. Tony's talk may finally be getting to Phil. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. What do I know? Ernest Wiggins has folded. Daniel straddled this hand. He's in at a discount if he likes. And he likey likey. Pretty loose call from Daniel. He may feel like he has the right odds with this many players in the pot. And Phil Locke joins the party as well. So we've got four players on the flop. And they're the four most aggressive players at this table so far. We could see some chips get in the middle here. Deuce, four, six, two spades. 
Daniels flop top pair with sixes. However, Phil Locke has flopped gut shot straight and the nut flush draw. Even though he doesn't have a made hand yet, he is the statistical favorite to end up with the best hand. Phil Helmuth has checked over to Daniel. Makes it 6,500 to go. When you hit top pair with sixes, there are any number of scare cards that can come off on the turn. Daniel's betting here to protect his hand by thinning the field. With a draw this strong, Phil Locke is not going anywhere. Makes the call. Tony G folds. Tony, why do you get us some trouble like this? It's always somebody else's fault, isn't it, Phil? Now down to two players on the turn. Ace of hearts. Now, Chris, I did forget to mention the ever-present top pair draw. <laughs> Locke now has the lead. Daniel looks like he's ready to fire away again. A bet of 14,000. He obviously doesn't have a good read on the strength of Locke's hand. Now, even though Locke is a weak kicker, it's unlikely he'd fold to one bet after making top pair here in the turn, not to mention all the draws he still has. You're very chatty most of the time. <coughs>